so I did this I did these cloth physics for the skirt that I made and this is a tutorial on cloth physics for VR chat avatars it's not specifically VR chat avatars but that's what this is going to be used for so I figured that's the most relevant uh, this is for unity 2019 but I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this move it over but mm -mm -mm, delete cloth physics here I'm just going to go ahead and delete these so I can re-add them. But first you want to start with adding your colliders because it's a lot easier to add it to the list of colliders that the cloth is supposed to collide with if you've already done those colliders. So um, what you'll need to do is add a new component, like click this button here, and then it's not going to be the dynamic bone collider like you're used to. It's going to be a capsule collider. So you just type in capsule and you can find that. Um, and it's gonna start out like super big or something. Usually does. Oh wait, no, I have it hidden. Yeah, it starts out like super big. Usually, if you don't export through cats, like the armature scale is really funky. So I usually took for this, like for the hips. Three zero zero. Yeah, three zeros and then a nine and then height. Well, actually, you want to bind this to the x-axis because this is for the hips. You don't want to have a collider on each butt cheek because that means the cloth is going to like fall between and you can't guarantee that there's going to be no clipping like showing that, you know what I mean? So you're going to add some height to it. Mm, not that much. You just gotta play with the numbers until you find what's right or you can do this um there's an edit collider and there's this edit bounding volume button that will allow you to drag out the sides it actually makes that a lot easier um and then you can position it where you need it to be because like you see how like the most volume is down here i'm actually gonna want this to be a little bit lower because the cloth physics actually don't start until about here I want that to extend just like just inside this cloth because I don't want it to clip through and show the skin. So that's about just like in that cloth, like paper thin. So then you can hit that button again and those buttons will go away. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these capsule colliders as well, but I'm going to leave the direction to the Y axis. And these ones, I find that zero, 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 003 works, and then height, I mean, no, not zero, zero, 003. I'm just gonna play with it a little bit, I think. That might work. And then you can go ahead and do this again, where you drag it down. I usually drag it down to about the knees, a little bit below it, maybe. You want it to, like, intersect with the hip collider. So the hip collider is, like, in this area. You can see it if I click on this. They're intersecting. That means that there's going to be like no space like in between the leg and the in the hip for it to like go through. So then after you do that, um, that's a right leg, not the left leg. You can go ahead and copy component and then paste it on the other leg. And it's gonna be a little bit off because oh wait no, it looks a little it looks better actually. Usually you'll have to like go ahead and like edit this a little bit and like pull it over to this side, pull it in, just because it gets a little funky when you're copying pasting. And you can go ahead and paste those on the knees as well. Might need to edit these ones a little bit. So that's a little bit too thick for me. But this is um this is using like at most like five colliders to get it to work. I don't really like having that many colliders. But this actually where's where is it? Where are you? Here it is. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it over here. Um, I didn't put any colliders in the feet yet, uh, just because I don't know if the skirt is gonna go through and like weight down. Um, 
So now I can go to my skirt mesh and add a component and I'm going to add cloth physics. So first thing you should do before testing any of this is go to your, actually I should have did this while I was doing this, um, make sure is trigger is unchecked because that will make your avatar spin around a lot unless it's yeah whenever you like jump and stuff it like uh makes you spin around and it's not fun makes you a little dizzy actually if you're in vr um so first thing i want to do is add these colliders not 50 of them just five thanks and then you can just click here but i'm gonna drag them in just because i have two of these in here And then I'm going to change my damping. So my damping's at zero right now. I'm going to put it at about 0.3. Just because I've had a lot better time with point, like higher damping. Um, and then, so the way, so if you put this into play mode right now, your cloth is going to fall. Because it's not bound to anything. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click this edit cloth constraints button and now you see this so what you want to do is actually change this um, constraint size to like a lower number because those balls get really like just hard to read if that makes sense so these are technically the vertices of my of my mesh these little balls are the vertices of my mesh that I can edit so how you prepare a mesh for cloth physics actually is you want to have the part that's staying like completely constrained separated from this to make it a lot easier see how this row is like very distant from this that's all like this that's just one like edge loop basically makes it a lot easier for you to just do this so this is how i do my cloth physics um you want to hit this like max distance here and check on manipulate back pieces so what i'm gonna do is select Max distance. Oh. No constraints have been set up. And now I can select this box. Like I could just easily put the, my cursor over that line of vertices. And then my max distance is going to be zero. There you go. Now that's constrained. Um, typically. You don't want to leave these unconstrained because it can get really, really funky. Um, so I like to just select this and then add a, like a little bit, just like a little bit of some constraint. So it's not like flying around like crazy whenever you move. Um, and then you can like actually make a gradient. Like if you want to do that, there's a gradient tool. I'm not quite wow. Well, not, not sure how it works. Um, I'm sure I could just do that. Select that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. But now when I click off of that and I'm out of my constraints, I can put this in play mode. I can see that my skirt is, is cloth physics now. Uh, the clipping is a little... That's That can be adjusted. That can be fixed. Oh, pointy butt. Yeah, that can be fixed. Um, but yeah, it's really just trial and error with cloth physics, but you have cloth physics now, though. And that's what that looks like. Uh, you'll have to adjust colliders. I think this one's a little bit too... Yeah, it's too thin. But it's trial and error. That's how I do my cloth physics. That's how I pre prepare mesh, really. A lot of people will ask you, like... Well, they ask me, at least, how to prepare mesh for cloth physics. And you want to have clean topology. So if I actually turn on my selection wire, you can see, like, if this were quads, it would all be clean. I mean, it is all clean, even if it was tries. But you see the distance from here to here. It's a little hard to see. Is there a way to... Oh, yeah. Wireframe. Yeah, that makes it harder to see. 
Okay, well, still. You can see the distance from the edge loops here. It just makes it a lot easier for you to set up those cloth constraints. But yeah. Um, and technically, if I wanted to, I could just easily delete this mesh and then drag this one over. Like, you could put this skirt on in, in Unity. Oh, wait. Mm, it won't, oh, wait. Duh. You can put this on in Unity if you just drag it over there and then parent it to like the armature here. And boom. Now you have your. I got your skirt. Yeah, see, so definitely have to add colliders in the feet just so. Might make the dress a little bit shorter because I don't want it going through the floor and I really don't want to add a huge capsule collider on the ground for it. But yeah, that's how you do that.